Thank you very much. We have time for a few yes, I will gladly take questions. why the IMF has done it. I have my own theories that really politics related to uh, Germany and some of the other major uh, uh, EU countries that don't want to report a write down of the debt. Uh, but is there something else possible that could be behind that except the politics of other countries? I do not want to speculate. In fact, I would find it very helpful if people like us would ask this question to the IMF. Uh, the IMF should be asked this question. Uh, everybody has theories, but I think it's more helpful that the IMF is asked this question. Any other questions? Thank you. Got us back on the I have another question along the same lines as the previous one, but maybe you could speculate on this one. Uh, why do you think the people in the market don't uh, recognize the same issue uh, about the debt servicing costs being so modest and so on? You know, why, why, why I'm it, sorry, I was distracted yeah. by the noise at the uh, door. What, what, you why, speak why, why, why is it that investors, uh, private investors, don't recognize the same issues about the really quite low debt servicing costs, for example, of Greece in comparison with Portugal and so on. Why, why, yeah. Those who have done their homework recognize that. Mm -hmm. And the market does never acts as a whole. There are different views. There are winners and losers. So the smart ones have done their homework, and they probably realize that Greece is in a better position than the headline numbers used suggest. There seems to be a majority of people who still think that Greece should be yielding, you know, six, seven hundred basis points than any other country. Do you, do you think it's just that they're listening to the IMF, or and could this would, would this suddenly change? Do you think if the IMF well, changes, it's it could problem. change if uh, people like me who have studied the issue speak up, and if you believe in it, you speak up too then attitudes can change. The IMF has gotten the message. And in fact, as I mentioned in a, on a slide earlier, the IMF has admitted that for the past five to six years has been using the wrong debt metrics. So this obviously is a result of pressure. So I personally believe if we keep up the pressure, the reality will be reflected. Uh, the, the IMF, by its uh, founding chapters, the Articles of Agreement, is a preferred creditor. Uh, a country cannot survive in the world without paying the IMF first. So this is a scenario that really is not a realistic one. They paid. It's a preferred creditor. That's, a, that's, that, that's, that's how the IMF works. It's a preferred creditor. No country can have access to the markets unless the IMF is being paid. So the risk is, is non-existent. Countries like Zimbabwe, Yugoslavia after the war managed to pay back the IMF. So this is not a risk that the IMF will never get its money back. And look at the magnitudes of Greece's contribution. They do not reflect the, any risk whatsoever. They're out of proportion. Can you offer some um, perspective on other countries that have had uh, their debt extended, <coughs> extended over time um, and, and how the markets have viewed the debt of those other countries? Oh, countries that have gotten in trouble in the past, um, the Southeast Asian countries, Russia, what have you. I mean, I know they all devalue uh, 
uh, eventually Argentina. Um, how have the markets, when when they have had their debt uh, extended uh, uh, in, in in terms of maturity dates, and the interest rate has gone down significantly, how have the markets reacted? How, how have they priced that debt? Well, obviously favorably, and if one uses the proper metrics, then that favorable uh, picture can emerge. And that's what we try to show, not only me, Paul, and other speakers before me, that using the proper metrics, the rescheduling, refinancing, results in substantial debt relief, and that the true debt position of the country is much better than the headline numbers used, for example, in the case of the Greek program. So the answer is yes, they, they would see it favorably. And that's happened with these other countries? Obviously, but as I said, there are smart people around the world who can see what a certain debt operation implies.